tensions in the Middle East escalate as Hezbollah threatens Israeli port amid a series of drone attacks and airstrikes. In fact, on Monday, Israeli forces and Hezbollah, a group that is supported by Iran, exchanged drone attacks and airstrikes. Now, this happened after Hezbollah warned that they might attack Israeli oil facilities. Hezbollah said that they attacked Beit Hillel in northern Israel with a drone. And then, in response, Israel carried out airstrikes on two villages in southern Lebanon. Though, for now, no casualties were reported by either side. It's unclear if these attacks were response to each other or planned in advance. This violence follows either Israeli strikes deep into Lebanon and warning from Israel about uh, the possibility of a larger war that is going to be start very soon. On Saturday, there was an airstrike or a vehicle in Beka Valley in northern Lebanon. The Israeli claimed that they killed a Hamas commander in this particular attack. In fact, last week itself, Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz said that his country was very close to deciding to change their approach against Hezbollah and Lebanon. He warned that in all-out war, Hezbollah would be destroyed and Lebanon would suffer severe damages. Katz was repeating a long-standing Israeli policy which threatens that civilian infrastructure across Lebanon will be hit in an event of war. Now, if we go back in time, then Israel and Hezbollah has been exchanging fire since October 8. This started when Hezbollah, a Lebanese armed group, began attacking Israel to support Hamas after the Gaza war began a day before. However, the analysis say that the daily airstrike in Lebanon and the rocket and drone attack by Hezbollah are much smaller in comparison to what a full-scale conflict would look like. Now, what will happen next in this a tough time? Only time will tell. But till then, do follow India.com for more such videos.